hello and hello fall although it's already the first day of fall has already happened but I'm participating in the Hello Fall collab hosted by my friends Tammy at The Rusted Willow and Ellie from DIY From House to Home. I'm going to have their channels and the playlist linked in the description box below. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a second too, but first I've got five really cool DIYs using Dollar Tree items. You're going to love them, so if you're ready to create something fun, let's get started. On this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor, and if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. To make DIY number one, I'm taking some thin cardboard and I googled a Starbucks cup image to use to trace that onto the cardboard. And I'm cutting out a second and third piece as well. And I didn't realize that the top and bottom weren't level or like matching up with each other. So I'm going back and trying to even that out and make sure that both shapes match up. Instead of cardboard, you could use foam board or even wood to do this. I'm just trying to show you all the different ways that you can make cute DIYs for your home, especially if you're on a budget. Okay, so let's just finish cutting these out. Now that that's done, glue the three pieces together. Now I'm using Elmer's glue and I'm making a thin line all the way around near the edge and I'm putting some in the middle to glue them together. You could use spackle to fill in the edges all the way around the outside of it so that they're smooth, but I'm just gonna leave them the way they are. And after it's dry, I'm taking some Waverly paint in the color white and painting the lid on by just kind of painting some lines carefully across the top. I didn't have the color orange that I wanted, so I used some of that terracotta paint that I have and I mixed it with some white to lighten it up. I taped off that lid area so I don't mess that up and then I paint the cup area with the orange. You can find this corrugated paper. Oh, hello socks. Um, as I was saying, you can find this at Hobby Lobby. The regular price is $1.99, but of course I bought it on sale and I'm using it to make the cup sleeve. I totally saw this idea on Crafts by Caitlin and I thought it was genius. So, but if I had thought about it, I would have taken a Starbucks sleeve and just traced it, but I didn't think of that. So I traced out a piece, decided I wanted it wider so I could kind of wrap it around the cup because I thought that would look better. And this is just me trying to figure it out. To finish this out, I'm outlining it with a black Sharpie and adding, um, using a white paint pen to add highlights. And I attached the cup sleeve to the cup and add a Dollar Tree sticker to the middle of the cup sleeve. And I'm gonna be putting mine on my tear tray so I glued a tower tumbling block to the back. I think it turned out pretty cute and cost me next to nothing. Also, I don't drink coffee. This would have been filled with hot chocolate. All right, can you guess what I'm gonna be making out of these three shapes? I bet you can't and tap, tap, bam. The ghosts are now painted with Waverly paint in the color white. And if you watch my TikTok, um, our gray house over there, I love to do transitions. Anyways, these witches, this witch has had is from Dollar Tree and I'm filling in the hole with some Dollar Tree spackle. And I attach this craft paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. I cut it down to size and used a thin layer of Mod Podge and pressed it down firmly. Have you guessed what I'm making yet? Well, <laughs> If I tell you what I do, I'll give it away. So let me just say this. I'm taking some gray paint and some white paint and I'm kind of like making swirly shapes and trying to blend them together on the bottom half of that ghost. Once the Mod Podge has dried on the pumpkin shape, I use my finger sander to sand off the excess paper. It gives you a clean edge. And if you don't have a finger sander, you could use a, black, a block sander, just some sandpaper or even an emery board. And after the spackle has dried, I sand that down too, and I'm painting one of the witch's hats with this pretty turquoise color, and I'll paint the other one with a terracotta color. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> Captain shows up for a hot second, but leaves. And um, here's the Lisa lesson, a quick tip for you. Tape down a piece of masking tape, stick your side up, as you can see me doing here, and then you can put beads on it, and it will hold it while you paint it. So I'm combining a light pink and a linen color to paint on, you know, to paint these half beads. The last step is to glue everything together and drum roll. I mean, you can kind of already tell what this is going to be, but I'll go ahead and tell you. It's a gnome. These turned out super cute and you could customize them to every season or color decor that you have in your home. 
Also, I have a Facebook crafting group. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. It's free to join and I hope you do. I host it with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. The link will be in the description box below. Join, post something that you're working on. We would love to see it and encourage your creativity. All right, back to the DIYs. This DIY is similar to the first one. Find you some scrap pieces of cardboard, and I know that everyone has it somewhere in their house, and cut out little mini coffee sh cup shapes. I cut out six total as I'm making a little mini garland, garland. And I glued two shapes together with Elmer's glue and then painted the top, well, what is gonna be the lid of the cup with Waverly paint in the color white, and I did that with all of the pieces. And just as I did with the larger coffee, I mean hot chocolate. <laughs> I taped off the lid area and painted the cup with that orange paint mixture that I made, leaving the center space open for the sleeve. And I'm not trying to sound repetitive, but I take the corrugated cardboard paper and I cut out a sleeve for these little mini cups, making sure they're wide enough to wrap around the cup. And Sox is helping me. <laughs> and of course, I make three for the three cups. I trace around the cup shape with a Sharpie marker and use a white paint pen to highlight around the cup as well. Socks is just being Mr. Helpful today. But I take those same super cute stickers and try to find three that are a similar size. I have the kind, um, I had to kind of cut one because that was, was part of a set, but it worked out fine. I hot glued the sleeve onto the cup and I hot glued the sticker to the middle of the sleeve. And y'all know, I just love all things mini and this was really turning out super cute. Oh, actually, here's where I take the white paint pen to kind of go around the cup and highlight it. I'm using a hot glue gun to attach these little cups to the top of a mini paper bag that I got from Hobby Lobby. And the cool thing about this is you can make this any size you want. If you have bigger paper bags, just make a bigger cup. I'm measuring to determine where I will cut the bag to dovetail the bottom. I just make a little mark in the middle with my pencil and then I trace from the outer corner to the middle where the mark is and then I just cut on those lines. I had a made a garland for over my stove and sadly I hadn't changed it out since summer so I just take off the old paper bags and attach the new ones to the twine and I already had beads on it so I just left those in place. I think this turned out super cute and I love how the cups turned out, but I'll be honest, it's not really popping off the bags as much as I'd like, so I'm sure I'll switch it out soon, but let me know what you think below. Okay, yes, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try and recreate the famous Pottery Barn pumpkins and y'all, let's just get into it. I'm using two foam pumpkins from Dollar Tree. To make the stem on this one, I'm using Dollar Tree aluminum foil and some of that Crayola molding clay stuff. I tear off some of the foil and I try to shape it to look like a stem. And I have to trim it a little bit. And like I said, my goal is to make it look like a stem. That's what I was trying to go for. And then I cover the full um, foil shape with that molding clay stuff. I attach the stem shape and then I'm using Waverly paint in the color white to give the pumpkin and stem a coat all over, kind of like a base coat. Now for the other pumpkin, I skip the aluminum foil step and I just make the shape out of the clay and I attach that to the pumpkin. And just like the other pumpkin, I'm giving it a base coat of white paint. And y'all, here's, here's where it gets really weird. I saw other people using baking soda. I didn't have any, but I did have some expired baking powder. And yes, <laughs> that's what I used. So y'all remember that paint mixture I made earlier? Well, I put that in this little container and then I added a bunch of that expired baking powder. And as you can probably see, it kind of starts to grow. It's like science. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what that's all about, but if you do, let me know in the comments below. So I used the expired baking powder mixture that is apparently alive. It's alive! And I paint both pumpkins all over, including the stem. Now, I forgot to dust these when the paint was almost dry, so, I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. My pumpkins were pretty dry, so I don't think the flower, I mean, that's what I used to dust them. I didn't think it stuck as well as it could have, or maybe like should have, so, you know. But this is how they turned out. 
I may need to go back and do like a whitewash on them because they just don't look dusty enough. They don't have that white kind of like, you know, coating on it, but let me know what you think and how you'd fix it. I wanted to pop in and share really quickly about that collaboration that I'm participating in today. It's hosted by Ellie from DIY From House to Home and Tammy from The Rusted Willow. It's also co-hosted by Sons Arts. Their links are going to be below as well as the playlist. Please go check it out and show those channels some love. Now back to our DIYs. For our last DIY, you will need a glass jar with a lid. I got mine at Dollar Tree, but when I went the other day, I couldn't find the exact shape that I had, but this is similar and also at Dollar Tree. You will also need a couple packs of these maple leaves and some fairy lights. You can usually find these at Dollar Tree. I found this candle pedestal thing at Dollar Tree and I used my heat gun to remove the stickers from that and the jar. I start hot gluing the leaves around the rim of the pedestal thing and I start with a layer and then I just keep adding until it looks full. I then glue a layer of the leaves around the edge of the glass jar lid. And I put some E6000 glue onto the top of the lid as well as some hot glue for an immediate hold. And I center it, well, you know, at least I tried to, <laughs> onto that pedestal thing and then placed some weight on it and let it dry overnight. And I take my fairy lights. Mine happen to be leaf shaped and orange and I tuck those inside that orange glass jar. I flip it over and screw the jar onto the lid so it stays put. And this is how it looks outside in the dark. And I think it turned out pretty darn cute. You might see some other versions um, in a video that's coming soon. So stay tuned to my channel. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate the company while I craft and create. And I hope you enjoyed the five fall crafts that I made for today. Tell me in the comments below which one is your favorite and tell me any of your other thoughts. I'd love to hear it and connect with you guys. And don't forget, the description box has all the info you're going to need. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or on TikTok or something like that, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.